Okay, so this is part 120 of my video series of Prospect Bay, take two. So, uh, as you might have noticed immediately, this is the city tile immediately adjacent to the south of where we pretty much finished things up uh, last time, or at least uh, finished to the standards of the region as it currently stands. That would be Cyrene. Uh, so... Well, I figure this might be as good a time as any to tell you that I eventually plan to have a new, fair-sized city. Quite likely, eventually, it's going to be larger than Cyrene itself, around this area. So, bef um, I don't really want to mess with that before I finish up things in neighboring Long Beach Island over here. Uh, and also Napoleon over here. Uh, but... There are a few things I can do to sort of get the city tile into shape uh, as things stand for now and in order to facilitate later development on this tile. Um, also, I got a comment in my MD on sc4devotion.com that my port over in Lagos, which is right here, was not really placed in the best spot because ships have to go through this kind of narrowish channel in order to get there and obviously for container ships that's not really optimal so what I'm gonna do before anything else is dredge out the channel a bit in order to create a uh, you know make things look a bit little bit nicer and, in order to do that, you're going to have to demolish the rails stretching back for a bit of a distance, but frankly, I was going to have to do that at some point anyway, because they were made using my old slope mod, which is not really how I want my things to look now. Okay, so that is probably far back enough to demolish things on both sides. I think I'm going to try to use my Godmo tools for this. Yep, the quick level brush. Let's reduce the size a bit. And use it. Uh, let's make our low point around here. So, over here we're mostly going to take away from the mainland. As far as where we're dredging from. Just try to create as clean of lines as I can, if at all possible. Whoop, widen it a little bit more. Okay, that looks good right there. Woof, didn't mean to do that there, but might as well just take the widening to slightly greater level. And over here we'll start taking away from Long Beach Island. Let's do it all the way to that road stub. Yeah, that looks good. Let's create a nice flat area in the middle to use the tool on in the future. Oof, looks like I got that graphical bug in part of the screen already isn't even really a developed tile, so that's a bit disappointing. Well, let me grab or rip off a Kleenex really quick, or a square of toilet paper as the case may be. Alright, so I kind of want to get rid of this little indentation, doesn't look too realistic. So I think I'm going to actually... move back this higher grade area a little bit more. Whoop. And it's kind of hard to do neatly as you can see. But that should probably be enough. And maybe use a bit of a bigger tool actually. Just to speed things up a bit. I don't want to spend half this video dredging. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, that looks plenty wide over there. And soften this corner a bit. Alright, our channel is almost done. Now let's just widen the exit. And yep, this is making the terrain a bit less interesting the way I'm doing this, but... Well, it's necessary for development, right? Oh, looks like I got rid of my stub over there. Crap! <laughs> not too much I can do to... Whoop. Oh, no. No, no, that's not it. Oh, no, I got it back. Nice. let's see if I can rebuild the bridge and sure enough looks like I can. Now I think the best bridge I can use here is the STR How Truss. Yep, looks like it. Yep. So I'm just keeping one blank tile next to my rail line on both sides. <laughs> Let me take another quick look at... Yeah, yeah, my channel looks plenty white now. Even a big container ship should be able to get through that. Uh, okay. So, let me get my STR starter pieces real quick. Let's put them like that on the ends of the rail stubs by the bridge. And see what we can't hook up. Woof. Creates kind of an ugly approach there, but, well, there's really not much I can do about that. And at least this is around the minimal size, minimum size. I could make the platforms the bridge start, bridges start from much larger, but, well, that wouldn't look that good, to be frank. Okay, so I'm glad with how things have worked out so far. Next thing I want to do is, I don't know if you remember, but in Cyrene, the coastal highway leaves the southern edge of the tile as a, dual, as a four lane road. So obviously it's not that on this side. So we're going to be extending that a little bit, probably to just south of this first intersection here. And eventually, we'll probably be widening the highway all the way through this city tile, but for now, that would, that seems like pushing it a bit. Because I don't really intend to have too much residential development in this area, at least not for a little while. Okay, looks like we found our starter piece place it down there. As you can see, I left an extra tile in my right away here, just so that I would be able to do precisely this without making things look asymmetrical as far as the green belts. Alright, got our roadway dealt with nicely there. Um, ooh. So yeah, I need the neighbor connection pieces. All right, got it. Looks like it worked. Per Let me rip off another Kleenex over here. Or yeah, toilet paper. Now down here, normally I'd want to use the RHW two to RHW four transition, but we don't really have enough room. So I'm gonna just transition to road really quick here, and use the old-fashioned avenue tool. <laughs> That looks symmetrical. So let's create the intersection. And our highway improvements are pretty much done. <laughs> that wasn't too hard, was it? Uh, so, what next? Seems like it'd be a good idea to expand the agricultural zones in this area. So, 
but I think we're gonna do that. Let's draw a road to there. It's gonna just be straight because why not? That needs to be curved though. So what size of zone should we put here? Uh, that's about some nice clean 2890. Yeah, that's a good zone size for a farm. And I'm going to get rid of the very tip of these so that it doesn't look, so that it all matches up in the region view. Okay, so let's just build some more of these farms here. Some more 2890. Right. Don't have room for a full size one there, but <sighs> yeah, I might as well have one mega farm. Don't see why that would hurt anybody. So would here be a good place to draw a north south road? Yeah, it looks like it wouldn't be the worst. Alright, this is going to be a bit of a steep curve right here, but, you know, all part of the game. And... Got it into place right there. Hmm. Now, kind of like how the highway over here, where it goes to its westernmost extent, is kind of the last road until the forests take over. So I think I'll try to preserve that for at least a short length. Just curve this road over to meet it relatively close to where it curves over to the east. Make a nice wide curve here. <coughs> Woof! That was a big one. Probably time for a new square of toilet paper. Man, I hope I'm not just completely disgusting half of my viewers by <laughs> admitting that I'm using toilet paper instead of Kleenex. Alright, so uh, let's see if we can't get those two roads to meet. Hold on! Just as planned! <laughs> I was planning those to light up all along, of course. Now, it's probably time for a new east-west road. Maybe have it curve a bit around this area. Alright, this looks alright. Not even any cliffs. What more could you ask for? Not that I have anything against cliffs. After all, my father's name is Cliff. Uh... Wonder what I could do with this road here. Maybe make it a diagonal? Yeah, this is actually working surprisingly well. Considering how the street network often is.
Huh. All right, so let's just go out our street like this. It's probably too far. And make them meet somewhere like around here. Actually, I really don't like that slope. Or that one either. I'm just going to do a 90 degree turn. Alright, very nice, very nice. Now, wonder if I could improve this at all. Oh, sure enough. I hope this doesn't look sort of too weird, this road network. But I think it should be fine. It's probably all the roads we need for the moment, so let's get to zoning some farms. Uh, I'll just fill it in like this. Make sure that there's plenty of room in the highways right away. probably also improve the slope of that highway without doing practically anything. Yeah, that didn't even work that well. Hell, it's better than nothing, I guess. Oh well. So let's continue the diagonal lines for just a bit further. Just like that. And then fill in the rest of that with farm. These farms are a bit small compared to what I usually do, but I think nobody will complain too much. <sighs> yeah, maybe even make this one a bit smaller, frankly. <coughs> Woof. Excuse me. So, what should we do here? Let me go over the water so I can safely zoom out. Okay. Very nice. So how many tiles is this total? Ah, uh, zone's too large. Damn, I hate that. Looks like 48. Fuck, it's an even number. Mm. How can I divide that up? I always hate even numbered zones. Can't even really put a road in the middle without screwing things. Uh, maybe a... I don't even know if it's 48. I'll just wing this.
So I wonder if that's even enough. Something's clearly wrong with this. Okay, these don't even come close to lining up. And there's no gap between them, it looks like. Well, just a raft full of problems today, huh? Yeah, those are nowhere near even. There's 25 tiles there, and only 9 over there. <laughs> That's a bit funny, isn't it? Let me confirm that one more time. Only nine tiles here, really? Yep. Wow. Oh, no, because... It's not even here, either, is it? It's hard to see through all these trees, frankly. So, 25 and 22, how can we change this? We could get 24 and 23. Yeah, fuck, it was an even number, after all. I hate when I'm when my attempts at symmetry are thwarted like that. All right. Well, that looks all right. Uh, I think I'll just do some abstract boundaries between farms for over here. It's kind of an irregular shape. Now, I'm sick of these numbers games. I didn't start playing some city just in order to do math. So. About a diagonal line over on this side. Maybe turn it into fractional angle after a moment. And did that really line up that neatly? I didn't think so. Nope, uh, my zone was just one off as usual. Wow. Really just can't see through these trees a lot of the time. Alright. Well, at least that should work. <laughs> kind of a funny shaped farm. And... Yeah, that's probably all we need there. Let's just get a couple more farms into place. Here. And last one over down there. <coughs> Whoa. Damn. This cold really sucks. Okay, this looks a bit less steep in this area. Let's have some farms. 
nice solid three thousands. Sounds good by me. Over there, the hills pick up a little bit. Here. So let's see how that looks. It is it does sort of plateau over here though, so I think I'm gonna see what I can do about getting a couple nice new farms. 2940s? Why not? Alright, looking good I assume. Now, we can draw a street intersection. Trying to take advantage of this little valley here. Whoa, it's a bit steep. What would it be like if I like that? Then I could do a nice fractional angle border to this farm. farm in place right here. Eh. Let's make it a 2520. Make up for that with a little bit of an extension on the side. <laughs> Alright, seems like all we need. Mm. So, guess we could take advantage of this little spot. Well, actually, uh, where should I build the next north-south road? Over here might do fine. Get it to curve around here, maybe? Oof. Gonna have to fix the slope on the highway first, though. Nah. Yep, that's about where I thought. See if I can't do it from a bit lower down though. Need to regularize this grade even further, it looks like. Alright, works just fine with the road tool there. Now, let's make it as big a curve as possible. <coughs> and these cliffs are completely ridiculous. I don't know why I'm continuing with this scheme in light of them.
<laughs> so Gonna have to do something about those cliffs clearly. But I'll do that in a moment. Good like that. <sighs> Might have to make this uh, into two parts, what I'm doing in this city tile. In fact, it's getting increasingly likely the more time I waste on stuff like slopes. Anyway... I think that looks just fine, don't you? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, let's make some farms along this road. Uh, 2880, a solid size as always. Yeah, that looks even. Thirty eighty. It's not a bad size, I guess. You could have a few thirty eighties even. <laughs> hmm. Let's see if I can't make this grade even better. That's a little better, wouldn't you say? Probably as good as I'll get it. Grading can be difficult. <sighs> so we could probably have something a little like this. Okay. That 
should be okay as well. <coughs> Woof, sorry for being so sick on recording, but... Oh, what can I do about it? Anyway, I've done enough, I don't want to lose it all by not saving. Like last time I tried recording this video. So, I'm going to go off camera and save real quick. Okay, back in the game. Now let's zoom out. And fast forward to September 1st for some tree planting. Oops. Alright. Let's get our nice tree tool in place. And use it to the point of misuse. Oh, well, that's kind of rough. I hate how it destroys the trees that landed on the farm field when you demolish it. It's kind of like you lose both. Or when you dezone it, I mean. Of course, if you demolish it, the trees will be gone. I guess because dezoning automatically demolishes if there's uh, development on that tile. Alright, this fucking sucks. We use an itty bitty tool over here. There, make that look a little bit better. And the last and probably most important place to do this would be around the bridge. Just to disguise those huge approaches a little bit. And around the areas of dredging too. This coastline looks kind of raggedy now. <laughs> It'll be fine though. Oh, over there could use a couple trees too. But anyway, that's enough for trees. I suppose now I will just put the time on and let our new agricultural zones develop. I can hear farms developing already. Always creates a bit of lag when that happens. Oof, traffic jam. Traffic jam? Well, not really my problem. <laughs> Might as well take a look at it though. I think my game is being laggy because I have shadows on high quality. Pretty sure if I turn them off I could get better speeds. Yep, there's a bit of traffic but only over there where it doesn't matter too much. As far as volumes, seems like for the most part they stay on the highway. That's about what I wanted. I guess the traffic here is because people are coming from Napoleon into this city town and their closest source of employment is to take the ferry. That's a bit of an issue. Alright, looks like there are still some zones that need to develop. That might have been the last one though. Oops. Yep, looks like there's one zone left actually. So I think we'll wait for that to develop, but actually maybe in the meantime, 
wouldn't be such a bad idea to yeah, introduce some SAM networks. Yep, just over here where it really doesn't look like there's anything to lose from that. There are not too many curves to speak of. Yeah, that's perfect. Keep it paved right out to that big industrial farm there. And then after the curve, it goes to dirt. See if there are any other prospective dirt rows that were likely candidates for dirtification. Particularly, yeah, I think there's enough dirt around here already. Should be fine with a few paved roads. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's, uh, I mean, I did a lot of Legos videos in a row, so these last two have been a bit of a departure. But I hope you enjoy both the rural and the urban aspects of building this region. And, anyway, I will see you next time, uh, when I get around to making my next video. Well, I did say I was going to end the video just there, but I figured I'd show you what things look like in the region view for just a moment. Um, yep, this is the tile we were working on, Port J. Whoa, damn, that's quite the small population, even now. Uh, yep, as you can see, it completes a nice wide belt of farmland around Cyrene that makes it look a lot more, the larger city a lot more realistic than it would if I had just built it on the footprints of the original farms in this area. Uh, so, hope you enjoyed the video, and again, see you next time.